Hi guys, it's Joanne. How are you? Welcome to a Shimmers Paints Design Team layout. Today I am using the Simple Stories Simple Vintage Garden District. This is a couple years old. I can't remember when that came out. Let me look here. 2020. I absolutely love it. I pretty much have been hoarding it. I've only used it a couple times for some really special vintage photos of like my mother or something like that but if this isn't special this is my niece um pregnant with my great niece who you see me scrap all the time i thought that would be perfect look at this background paper it's so beautiful i usually try to tear that up and use several pa pieces of pattern paper together but this is so beautiful i'm just gonna leave it as is so this is the photo we're using I think I want it right about here. Oh, I neglected to tell you, I just literally took a whole bunch of pieces of scrap paper that I had left from previous layouts and I just randomly backed it in all different sizes, shapes, directions, and it just came out kind of pretty, I think. So that's a good way to use your scraps. I'm going to use several shimmers colors today and once we get there, I will go over them with you and list them in the description box below. I'm going to use some Altenew embossing paste. Give myself some room here. And I'm going to take this Vicky Booten mixed media tool. Not sure what it's called. And I just thought that this really called for a stencil that looks like a brick wall. You know what I mean? Let me see if you can see that pretty so I think I'm just going to go in here randomly and start putting it all around the layout I'm going to speed that up Alright friends, that is all dry. Let me show it to you quick. I just put it in four spots. Nice, right? Alright, so what we're going to do with our shimmers, I picked out, um, let me see what the name this is. Sage It Isn't So, which is this really beautiful color. You have to mix it up. I'm just going to use the color that's left in the cap here. Take my paintbrush, I'm gonna put a little bit over here, just like this. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to go ahead and put, oops, I'm stuck right in the cap. I have this little mister. Um, I think I got that as a freebie from scrapbook.com. Put a little bit of water in it just to mix it up, make my, go, my color go further. And then I'm going to go ahead and just put some right on the texture paste itself. And I'm going to miss just a little bit on my right on my paper. And I totally missed where I wanted to go. But that's okay. I wasn't holding it properly. I'm going to come in and dab that up. I don't want tons and tons of water on my layout because I don't want it to warp. Maybe a little bit more. I'll just show you one in slow-mo and then do the rest faster. Okay guys, this is all dry. Let me show you up close. Isn't that look super pretty? Look at the shimmers. I'll go over the colors that I used here in a minute. Isn't that wonderful? I just love this piece of paper. Uh, look at it. Oh, it's so pretty. I love it. 
Okay, so as you saw, I used Sage It Isn't So on here and here, and that's a Creamies. Mini Inklings, Bahama Mama on here and here. Pretty. And then I came in off camera, I thought my camera was on, with another Shimmers in Pink Caviar. And I just did the packaging technique around where the photo was going to be. Look how beautiful that is. And then I came in with the Vibes in Jenny B Blue, which is one of my very, very favorite colors, and just dabbed a little bit here, 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 and here, because I thought it went really good with this color in the paper. All right, and then I painted all my ephemera that I'm going to use, I hope you can see it, maybe not in gold glimmer which is this gorgeous glimmery gold and i love it i'm going to use that for splatters at the end too so let's go ahead and get some stuff down i'm going to adhere this with atg and a little bit of glue just because of the mixed media okay so that's down isn't that good placement i mean seriously that's so beautiful you could literally be done right now if you want it to be you know i'm not going to the washi tape that came with this i have like three rows of this rolls of this i don't think that came out right and i'm just gonna tear a piece and i'm just simply doing this so i can try to get some of it used up i think it's super pretty not sure what I'm gonna do with it. I might just put some underneath here. That might look cute. Let's see. Yeah, why not? Some of it will probably get covered up anyways. Um, let's see about putting some here. Sure. <laughs> why not, right? And that's all used. And then I can say I used some of the washi. <laughs> all right, we used washi, good. All right, then the next thing, I made a shaker from, hold on, let me grab it. You know the banner sheets that come with Simple Stories? It's one of my favorite things. This was like half of a banner sheet that was right here. I must have used the other half on a different layout. So I used some really pretty shimmers sequins. And in case you didn't know, shimmers has awesome sequins in the shop. This is two different shimmers um, packages. I couldn't think of the word mixed together. So I took the teal out of this one. I'll list these both below. I can't remember what the name of this one is. And this one's called Butterfly Kisses because it has little teeny teeny butterflies in it. Isn't it pretty? So I just picked out some sequins that I thought would look good there. And I'm going to take the backing off. I put foam on this already off camera so you did not have to suffer watching me do that. I'm gonna put it down here on the bottom. Almost dropped it. Not surprising. Like that. Just have the top of it be right on the picture. See how pretty you look. Gotta love me some sequins. I wanted this to be a super special page for her. All right, and this is a couple things I got off just the sticker sheet. I took, um, oh my goodness, I couldn't grab it, a frame. And I also have a tag. Look how pretty it is with the text on it that was right there. And I'm going to use those. And I am honestly just putting this in there just to have another layer and to use stuff up. And I can't find my scissors. Now, I did tuck the entire thing in there initially when I was auditioning it, but because I've already glued everything down, can't do that. I'm gonna put half of it there. I'm gonna see how that works out. I was thinking about putting this super pretty piece up here says the sweet life it is perfect for this photo um, so maybe I can put that there I wonder if I can sneak this in here as another little layer all right guys let's go ahead and get the ephemera I swiped it off to the side because it was kind of distracting me thinking I want to put a flower in over here somewhere I don't know where I want it I just thought it would look pretty 
maybe tucked in here. This piece is in my way. I'm just going to rip it off. Go ahead and alter your ephemera to meet your own needs. I don't want this to be through, coming through underneath the acetate where I can see it. So that looks pretty right there. Let me put that there and I think perhaps let's do a leaf coming out of there. So I'm going to put that in the back of my hand. So we can get some green into this. Oops, I moved it and I didn't want to. I just go underneath with my fine liner bottle, hold that down. I'm going to put a little bit extra glue on than I normally would because of the mixed media. I'm not going to glue that down yet because I'm not sure if I need a foam square. I was thinking about tucking this in here somewhere. I don't know where. I don't know if I want it up here like this maybe. That doesn't look too bad. A little something. Maybe I can put a twine or a bow or something on that. That'd be cute. I might have to move this because I was thinking to put two tickets over there. I love using these tickets and I just want it to be next to each other and say hello happy. Excuse my arm. I'm just going to take the size swap stapler and just staple them together just basically so they don't move. guys I sped that up a little bit because it was a lot and I didn't want the video to be super long and I had a major case of the Butterfingers I had gems pinging off all over my craft room it was crazy <laughs> so I'm finished I couldn't help myself I put pink fresh gems on and pink yellow and teal I thought they went perfect with this paper and again, some awesome shimmer sequins. I will link those below. There's tons of different sequins in the shop. And if you do, go ahead and place a shimmer's order. If you leave my name in the comment box of your order, you'll get a free gift, which is usually a free jar of a color. So don't forget to do that because I would hate for you not to get your free gift. Okay, so I believe I'm all done. I put honeybee stamp gems in the middle of the butterflies like I usually do. Pink fresh gems. I didn't end up putting a brad there. And since this was from 2020, those were the brads that you actually had to poke your hole through the paper. They were not adhesive brads at that point. But that's okay. And here's my little sequin shaker with the shimmer sequins. Looks super, super pretty. There's the little pink fresh gems. The glue is still drying. And as you saw, I put a ton of gold splitters. Look at that shimmer on that pink butterfly. So pretty. That is gold glimmer. Now, if you want a nice paint to make really sparkly gold splatters. That's the one for you, okay? That one's perfect. And again, I used Bahama Mama, Pink Caviar, Sage It Isn't So, and Jenny B. Blue. Those are some of my very favorite colors. Definitely Jenny B. Blue is my favorite. I need like 12 bottles of those. There's the brick wall stencil with the shimmers and the paste so you can mix your colors right into paste right through stencils whatever you want to do with your shimmers it comes out perfect all right thank you for stopping by in the description box below is the shimmers paints 
website and again I will link all the products that I use today just in case you are interested in any of them and there's this really cool every month they come out with a bundles what they call it. it's a jar of sequins and a jar of paint and they match each other every month so if you're just getting started out with shimmer shimmers that would be a perfect item to purchase you get a jar of color and some sequins to get yourself started super fun and they're gorgeous every single month they're different okay Thank you for stopping to see me. I hope you enjoyed this. This collection is so pretty. Bye, my friends.